Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today I want to go over a build, a talent build for this hero right here. It's going to be none other than Johanna. I guess I'm going to the bottom lane. And Johanna is right off the bat a very interesting hero. I've been playing her for about 5-6 hours right now in total. Um, and I got her to like level 7 or something like that, level 7 or 8, I don't know exactly. I unlocked the second skin color. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff, so I do, um, you know, I did get the chance to try out every single talent, and after discussing it with different kinds of pro gamers and just, uh, you know, a different players in general, it seems like pretty much every single talent on this hero is viable. So the very first talent I am gonna go for uh, is Regeneration Master, and we'll go over the reasoning and the other options in a second as well. Now, for the, for the most part in this video, I'm gonna be playing a game, I'm gonna try and explain you the reasoning behind the talents that I'm picking, and on top of that, I'm gonna go over the abilities that I got, so hopefully I will be be able to, uh, you know, try and figure something out. So, at the very least, the, the one thing you need to realize when playing this hero is that you are not going to be a guy that deals, or a woman rather, that, <laughs> that deals a lot of damage, okay? That is not the goal of this hero. You're not going to be the guy that focuses on laning very aggressively because that is also not really where you shine. The one place where you do shine is trying to tank damage from your opponent and them not going down. Not like that right there. Well... I guess it was mostly Vala being caught off guard. Do want to grab that health globe right there. A little bit careful. Uh, but we are basically great at controlling where the fight goes, at slowing enemies down, at trying to mitigate the damage that my um, that my allies would otherwise be taking, um, and to basically just, in general, tank as much as possible and then control the fight. Um, you know, so it goes in our favor. Now, as far as the abilities go, I got a Q ability called Punish. Basically, this is a super short range ability, uh, and it will slow down enemies and do a bunch of damage as well. Now, I see zero tool right there, uh, but the damage, like the range on this, is enormously tiny. Okay, it's something that is easily overrated. W ability is this one right here. Basically, it will pull enemies towards me, and I can use those combination or uh, those two abilities in combination with each other. So, for example, what I can try and do, I'll execute it in like two seconds because that is when the cooldown pops. I can, for example, hit the W like this and then immediately follow it up with the Q ability. Now, sadly, Vala is going to be a little bit too aggressive and go down once more. Um, this is, by the way, actually the um, the release of the game. So, you know, you don't actually know exactly um, how long these players have been playing for. No big deal. But it's a great combination. And basically, it allows you to do both damage, control where enemies are going. And then on top of that, slow them down with a significant amount of slow. Um, at this point, it's 60% over 2 seconds. Uh, we can upgrade that and we will upgrade that to 80% over 3 seconds. As far as my egos, uh, it's a little bit different. Basically, what happens is um, you have like this big arc forward. You could see me use it right there. This big arc forward. And what happens is that the enemies that are caught in that arc, it's pretty much immediate, um, will take a whole bunch of... Um, a little bit of damage, but on top of that, they will actually start missing their next basic attacks. Um, now, as the second talent, what we want to go for is going to be Loss of Hope. And this one will allow us to give a bunch of healing. But we'll go over the exact reason behind the certain talents in just a second. Because there's one more ability to discuss here as well. Oh, he won't be able to nuke me down like this. And here's the slow that really comes into play. But sadly, he will be able to roll out of there. Um, the last ability to discuss is going to be Iron Skin. Iron Skin will be activated every 20 seconds or can be activated every 20 seconds. And what happens is that... Um, it will basically give me both a shield and it will make me unstoppable. So what that means is that besides just, you know, having a shield up like that, I will also be unstoppable and I, you know, basically can't, give, can't be CC'd. Now, very important to note is that if I'm already CC'd, so I'm already controlled by my enemy in some way, um, I won't be able to, um, I won't be able to do very much about this. Uh, so you need to activate it in time. For example, if you see the mosh pit just about to be activated from ETC, you can counter it by immediately... Um, going for that ability right here. Just trying to make sure that, uh, you know, they're being controlled right here. Now, as far as the talents go. So, talents are very, very depending on what your team composition is all about and what your enemy's team composition is all about, as well as the map that you're playing on. On certain other maps, you may be better off with a different talent pick, but in general, it seems that most of the talents are viable. What I'm going to be focusing on with this specific talent build, and also the one that I put down below in the description of the video, is a focus on pure tanking and pure CC. We're not going to be looking at the at the healing meters or the siege damage or the hero damage. That is not our goal. We're just trying to, you know, mitigate the damage off of our allies onto ourselves and to basically control uh, everyone else in the meantime. Now, I need to be very careful here. So, with that in mind, the first talent that will be picked is going to be Regeneration Master. There's a couple of good options here. 
The first one would either be Reinforce, um, Righteous Smash has his Utes as well, but Regeneration Master seems to be the strongest one all around. Now, a great option... Oh my god. Oh, I need to be so careful here, guys. Hold on. Oh, trying to pull everyone towards me, but the roll is a little bit powerful. Um, the reasoning why we would also... By the way, next one we're gonna go for is Crusade Marches on. The reason why we would also want to be going with, for example, Reinforce, is to give us... Uh, basically, a, a sort of a hard counter against enemies that are uh, designed for an auto attack build, such as Vala, such as uh, Falstad as well. And uh, actually, in this specific game, it may have been a little bit better um, to go for that one, but we'll see if exactly it is going to come into play. Generally speaking, if you're not sure what to build, oh my god, oh, trying to shoot everyone away here. <laughs> Generally speaking, if you're not sure what to build, go with the Regeneration Master, gather those globes, and make sure you get the extra healing going. Um, now, if you are running two healers or double support or something like that, at tier 4, at level 4, you have the, a couple of great options. For example, what you could go for is Amplified Healing, which synchronizes very well together with your Regeneration Master. Uh, that will actually increase the healing done to you significantly. Now, what I went for instead is Loss of Hope. That is because I don't have a support at all. Well, we got, I guess we got an Avatar and we got a... Uh, yeah, we got an avatar in the team. Um, you know, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But if you have a dedicated healer, generally speaking, amplified healer healing would be a little better. Um, but um, if you're not sure, go with your loss of hope. You can activate it every couple of seconds. And what happens is you... Or every, every one minute. And what happens is that you will both passively regenerate health all the way through. So, you know, basically extra regeneration. But you can also activate it to do some burst healing. So, just keep in mind you have a uh, ability right there to activate... Once it turns out to uh, be necessary. At level 7, uh, I would recommend going with the battle or uh, with the Crusade Marches on. A great other option would be something like Battle Momentum uh, or even Sins Exposed. I've seen different people running that as well. Uh, but generally speaking, Battle Momentum is just not superior to the Crusade Marches on. The Crusade Marches on basically makes it... I'm, by the way, having a really bad opponent to lane against here. Wow, nice little move by him. Um, but Battle Momentum, or um, rather the Crusade March is on, basically makes it so that I can use Iron Skin more often. And that is going to be the trait that I discussed earlier. Um, and that will allow me to therefore stay alive for longer, be unstoppable for longer, and to just basically, you know, shield more damage for longer as well. Uh, so that is the basic, the basic idea behind everything with this hero, okay? There's no super, like, super powerful go-to build, um, because different talents are useful in different situations. I'm gonna try and pull him out of here. Um, and you gotta keep in mind as well, when playing this guy, that you wanna try and not spam your abilities. I'm honestly spamming them a little bit too much right now. Uh, I would probably be better off if I would, um, pace it a little bit more. So basically, you know, if an ally is, or an enemy is already CC'd, I don't wanna CC them again. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyways, for the heroic ability, what we're going for is gonna be Blessed Shield. Other option would be Falling, uh, Falling Sword. That one is also great, especially if you have a hard time disengaging from combat, because you can use that one for both engaging and disengaging. But we're gonna be going for the Blessed Shield almost every time, just because it is a great interrupt. If you have a dedicated interrupter, uh, such as... Wow, he actually found him. Well, there we go. If you have a dedicated interrupter in the game, uh, maybe you're running like a, a, a Thrall or you're running a, um, a Muradin or something, you can definitely go for the other option as well. So I'm going to activate it right here. Basically, it bounces between enemies, stuns them, and does a whole bunch of damage as well. It's great for interrupting ETCs, alt. Uh, it's great for pretty much everything that you could be hoping for. Um, but yeah, go for the Blessed Shield if you're not sure. Go for um, Falling Sword if you are very confident in your abilities. Uh, so basically, once again, what it does, it bounces in between enemies that are hit. And it allows me to, um, you know, interrupt them and deal some damage to them. Um, but yeah, the, like the general idea of this hero is that you can use pretty much every talent. You can pretty much use every talent as long as you're having a reasoning behind it. And, you know, as long as you are playing reasonably well, you can actually... You can actually deal um, a substantial amount. Gotta be very careful here, trying to shoot them away. Their Muradin has 43 gems. Sadly, out of mana. And that's actually the thing that I tried to say earlier that I forgot. <laughs> um, I want to basically come to the point where I am not spamming my abilities as much as I am right now. For example, if someone is already CC'd, if I've already used my, uh, my Blessed Shield right there, it would be a bad idea to follow it also up with, um, with for example, like my Slow. Or to follow it up with, um, with the Silence right there. 
on the on the basic attacks because it doesn't really make a lot of sense so you gotta try and pace yourself and at that point you will also not really run out of mana as quickly at level 13 we're gonna go for subdue subdue basically makes it so that um, the basic abilities or the um, the the slow ability from your Q uh, becomes even more significant so right now it's gonna be an 80% slow but most importantly it's gonna be a slow over uh, three seconds instead of two. Now, when I first read it, I was like, "All right, that's that's actually not that big of a deal, right?" But it's actually it's actually very substantial. I am gonna use. Oh wow, <laughs> that's actually a downside. We'll, we'll discuss that in a second. Um, but yeah, just just keep that in mind, okay? You gotta you can go for the uh, for the extra slow, and it will make it a lot easier to pick off enemies. Um, one downside of Blessed Shield that I forgot to mention that came into play right there is the fact that if you miss one of your abilities and you miss one of your um, you know, you missed the very first hit. The bounce that usually happens will not happen either. So it's just gonna go straight into the cooldown. So if you are very unconfident in hitting your skill shots, um, like I usually do, actually, um, or well, I usually don't uh, miss my skill shots. Um, you know, you will be um, you will be in a lot of trouble. But yeah, just try just try and hit them to the best of your abilities, and at that point, it will bounce in between as well. Sadly, falls that do end or does end up falling. Trying to get out of there, making sure that I am slowing them down. A bit counterintuitive to first condemn them towards me and then um, to uh, to punish them like that, but it actually makes a lot more sense. So once again, making sure that the basic attacks hit, making them pretty much useless. Zeratul usually also running an auto attack build nowadays. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's it may have actually been a little bit better in this game to go for reinforce instead, just to counter it. Well... Sadly, won't be able to save him uh, from there. Um, so yeah, excuse me if I'm not playing absolutely perfect here. It's pretty difficult to uh, give commentary and play at the same time. I'm trying my hardest, obviously. Um, in general, you want to try and not die. Always a good strategy. Ugh. Won't be able to quite get there. The extra movement speed would have been nice. Uh, at level 13, you also have the option to go uh, for Burning Rage. That one is quite common. Especially if you have a lot of like melee heroes um, in your team or in your opponent's team So basically you want to try and um, you know guarantee the fact that they're taking the increased damage Generally speaking to do is a little bit better It really does depend on what your uh, allies are or your opponents are going for if you are the solo tank in the game as well So you're the one taking the most damage um, You may be a little bit better off with going for fanaticism or uh, not for fanaticism hold your ground instead just because you will get a massive increase from um, Oh god. No, no, no. Don't go down. Don't go down. No. I am unstoppable right now, so I will be able to get out of there. Oh my god. Every other hero would have died there. <laughs> it's insane. You can stay alive for so long. I do want to try and turn in here. Wow, he's got 50 of them. Alright, we're gonna go for Imposing Presence at the, um, at the level 16 mark. Okay. Trying to move in here. Very nice. And, well, looks like he's gonna turn in, so I'll let him turn in. Ooh, I see him, I see him, I see him. My E sadly is off cooldown. As you can see, not pacing it. Not pacing it properly. Um, can I drink from the fountain real quick? That would be nice. Um, at level 16, you also have the option to go for fanaticism, but a lot of people do end up going for... Oh no, I missed it, wow. Uh, a lot of people end up going for the Holy Renewal. Holy Renewal is especially great if you skipped out um, on any of the other defensive talents that we already discussed. Um, because at that point, you're just going to be able to be a lot better off in those scenarios. Oh, I'm a little bit in a flimsy position here. Trying to uh, pull her to safety. Close enough there. I'm going to go back real quick and grab some extra mana. Well, at least he also goes down. Um, but yeah, if you are realizing that you're taking too much damage or you're missing out on healing, which may very well be the case, you can also go for Holy Renewal. Basically, it makes your E ability, the big arc thing, um, you know, be easier to control pretty much. And on top of that, or not easier to control, but it will give you some extra healing with that. So, as always, if you are interested, I will be leaving my go-to build, I suppose, down below in the description of this video. Um, but just keep in mind that there are changes that you will need to make depending on the situation. Like I mentioned, you know, most of the talents seem to be a total probability. 
Uh, but even though I'm not playing amazingly well here, you can see that I just don't die. Johanna just does not die. Um, Johanna has a lot of life. And she can basically get out of trouble whenever she is in trouble. It's pretty insane. Okay. Ooh, we are really needing to team fight a little bit more, I think. Sadly, I've actually used my uh, my ult a little bit too quickly here. Trying to make it so that they are losing out on the attack speed because of my imposing presence, which is great, obviously, against these auto attackers. Gotta be real careful. Making sure that he misses the next bait. Oh! Da -da -da -da. Oh no, Zeratu actually just popped out. <laughs> I wish there was a metric in the statistics or in the stat screen to show you how much damage you tank because I'm feeling like I'm tanking a lot of damage here, or at least I'm trying to. Uh, it seems to do quite a lot, but it's it's tough. So far, we are slightly behind in this game. Zeratu is picking off kill after kill, but it's okay. It's okay. We can definitely still come back. Please don't overextend though, because you know Zeratu is right there. You know he's right there, bro. He shouldn't be here. It's gonna go bad. It's gonna go bad. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Holy shit, this is crazy. Alright, well, I guess two kills are gone. <laughs> Our two potential kills are now gonna be leaving the game. Uh, but so far it's going pretty reasonable. Abathur has not died yet in my team. It's to be expected, to be honest. He's actually somehow some way managed to get ten of those gems. I didn't actually realize they get picked up by the... Uh, Wait, I don't actually know. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, they're gonna be at boss right now, I suppose. No, they're not actually. Going in, coming in, coming in. Don't die yet. Don't die yet, please. Even though this map is tiny, sometimes it's too big. Okay, gonna try and chase him down right here. So the slow right there coming into play. Certainly won't be able to chase him down all the way. We're gonna need some, uh, some grouping. Group up, please. We need to make sure we stay together now, because uh, this is not working out very well so far. As long as we are all together, it's going to be relatively easy. If we manage to pick up one right now, that would be huge. Uh, what you want to try and do, though, with um, with this hero as well, that I've not mentioned yet, is sort of like peel. You don't want to be the guy that engages, okay? You don't want to be their main engage. You want to try and be the guy that tanks the damage when your allies are tanking or taking damage instead. So you want to be the guy that takes the damage from your opponents instead of like immediately running in there and engaging. While you can, while you can do that, other heroes, generally speaking, are just better at doing exactly that. Very nice. So I'm using my punish right there, or at least trying to. Oh, no overpower. That's unfortunate. Yeah, sadly, uh, Diablo actually ran out of there. Oh, watch out, watch out. Running in right there, trying to make sure that the damage is gone. Oh, God. False set is not there. It's not here. Really unfortunate. We're, miss we're missing out on a bunch of damage in this game so far. Don't exactly know how high it's been. My, my damage is actually relatively high for a normal place. Uh, at level 20, we want to go for indestructible. Now, indestructible, I like to see it as, like, the version uh, of, like, Insurgents of the Storm. I don't know if you guys remember it. Um, it used to be it used to be very good uh, and then removed it out of the game. Basically, what happens is when you die, you don't actually die. You basically come back uh, with a massive shield. And... Can I get some help, guys? That would be great. Um, you basically come back uh, with a massive shield after you take Vatal damage, and it can happen every once, uh, or, or once every 120 seconds, and it's obviously very powerful. Uh, if you need the extra shielding, Storm Shield is also a good option. Oh. Can we have someone come in? Oh god, we're actually attacking Muradin, apparently. I used my ult right there, I thought I, I thought they were right behind me, but turns out they weren't. Now, come on. Nuke down Kel'Thuz. There we go. Very good, very good. Okay, so now we can go. 
I'm gonna move in right now. Activating... Uh, I do want to attack and damage, though. Just don't take the damage, uh, Diablo. I can activate my D ability right there. Make sure I tank most of it. Without really, uh, you know, any issues. Guys, can we get some help? Oh god, I thought Falstead was behind me as well. Avatar is also not noticing what's happening here. <sighs> the quick match ladder is a little unfortunate right now. Or a little bit frustrating. I wouldn't be surprised if Diablo goes down now. Come on, man. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, I won't be able to do this. That's a big time waste right there. Oh, Diablo. Whew. I almost killed my, my own buddy right there. <laughs> we had so much time right there wasted, but it is what it is. I think it was a good call, though. We could have just uh, moved to the top lane. Abathur would have been there as well, and at that point we could have taken up Muradin with ease. Uh, and it would have been an easy peasy win. Uh, but all, all is fine. All is fine. We're still alive. We didn't at the very least end up going down. Bosses are pretty suicidal in this game. Uh, but anyways, like I was saying, Storm Shield also a good option. Would not be going for uh, the Radiating Faith or the Heaven's Fury. It seems worse in every single scenario. Falstead, come on. Falstead, you can fly. Come on, guys. You can fly, boys. Oh my god. <laughs> you pulled him away just... Before I could get in. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> Sadly, people are disconnecting. Don't really know why he's blaming Blizzard for it. False that, help please. <laughs> We're missing out so much damage. <laughs> My teammates are not having a good time. Come on, we can take the boss, man. <laughs> what is this? Alright, finally, Falstad is on his way. Okay, we should be good here. Just push! Come on, don't! Don't chase! Come on! Push, boss! <laughs> don't chase, please! It's such a risk! It's such a risk! We're missing out on too much damage here. Alright. Just get in this little room! They won't be able to get in the little room once it's here! Alright, alright, we're doing it, guys. This is a bit suicidal right now, but I'm assuming it's okay. Oh, nice one, actually. That's a pretty big pickup. Activating... Oh! Whew. Activating the ability once more. Trying to hit my, uh... My ult if I can. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, the regeneration, by the way, is starting to kick in. Even though I've not really been focusing on it too much here. Uh, it is already starting to kick in quite significantly. Uh, you gotta be va watching out though, Vala. Vala, just, just leave, man. You get no life. You got nothing. <clears throat> Turn in, please. Vala, you got plenty. Okay, she's actually moving in right now. Nice. Awesome. Alright, so our web weavers are once again ascending. <laughs> Do I have to? P <laughs> I feel like that guy that is pinging every like for every little move that I'm making. Um, <laughs> generally speaking, I'm trying not to be an ass in this game, um, but sometimes it's it's like sometimes it feels better to boss people around because then it actually makes sense what is going on, even though that's not really what you want to do. Stay together, guys. We can win this. Here we go. Enormous positivity, loco. Activate it. Okay. Oh, sadly, we'll be able to dwarf those out of there. All is fair, though. But basically, this hero is great for, um, for countering, like, heroes that have, like, long, uh, long casting times. Like, ETC's ult. And, um, also to counter heroes that have, like, auto attacks. Now, sadly, Falstad is not here. Okay, so that is my uh, indestructible coming in right there. It is gonna only last a couple seconds, though, so I'm trying to get out of here. Yeah, I'm dead. <clears throat> it's really unfortunate, because we just missed out on a lot of damage there. Alright. Well, Falstad will save the day after all. Wow! Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. So, while we did end up going down right there, and I don't think it was ultimately necessary, 
you get the idea of what's happening, right? Um, you can stay alive for a crazy amount of time, try and spend your punish ability and your shield glare at the appropriate moment, and Condemn can be used very properly in, in combination with Punish. I'd be very careful actually to use Condemn only, or, or like without having uh, Punish ready to go. The cooldown on Punish is always going to be shorter than that of Condemn. Uh, while you can like spec into a little bit as well to do some extra damage. It's mostly just nice for that pull together and then punishing everyone around you to get that like extended slow happening. And that's um, at least usually enough to, um, you know, pick enemies off and to, to make sure that they are, uh, you know, taken out of the battle. I mean, if it's a 5v4 at that point, it's a very easy win. And the same obviously goes for the Blessed Hammer. I'm liking this Abathur though. This Abathur seems to know what's going on. He's been doing quite a lot. Alright. This mount, by the way, is new as well. It looks pretty cool. I'm quite liking this combination of skin and uh, the color of the mount and the, uh, the color of the skin. It looks pretty cool. Alright. Stay as five. It's easier that way. Very good. Sadly, she does end up going down. Didn't quite have the time right there to uh, to uh, to push him out of that. Okay, Diablo wants to turn in. He does have quite a couple, but not enough. I know that Zeratul is nearby. I saw the little glimmer thingy. He's here somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. Oh god. False that. What were you even doing there, dude? I thought he was actually moving towards the mid lane, and then he was. I thought he actually backed or something. <laughs> Turns out he was randomly standing right here. <laughs> Don't really know how he ended up there. He must have accidentally walked that way. Fair enough. We're actually a full level up right now, or at least like a, close to a full level up. Uh, we did kill one of the keeps. Oh, actually no, they did kill one of the keeps, and we did not kill one of the keeps yet. Okay, we're lacking full damage here, so just wait. We need damage. Oh god, some Abathur on Abathur action here. Well, he's going down real quick. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> I thought I would be able to get him! Alright, I am gonna be able to maybe get out of here. Okay, my indestructible can probably trigger again. I'm assuming it will. Yep, there we go. Look at the amount of- look at the amount that I can tank! That was literally them trying to nuke me down. <laughs> and nothing even hurts me. Oh no! <laughs> that was a close one. Alright. I'm just trying to cast them from a little distance. Oh, flame bomb. Or living bomb rather, on me. Gonna try and, and, and get some healing done because I, I'm not gonna be able to survive for very long right now. How long often has Vala died? Ten times. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive on its own. At least she's giving us some advice, which is all good. All fine and dandy. But yeah, if you have any questions about this hero whatsoever, feel free to post them down below in the um, comment section of the video. I will obviously try my very best to answer everything that you might have. And we actually have a, a really nice, nice group of people sitting around usually as well that are, you know, answering questions as well. Um, either if I ask them or you know if other people are asking them usually there's always someone nice in the comment section Trying to help others out as well. So um, yeah, if you uh, see a comment by someone else by all means Try and answer it if you know the answer Obviously, I'm not saying I know it all but uh, I try and uh, at least read pretty much every single comment that you guys leave Nowadays, it's kind of crazy though. We get like a couple hundred comments a day, so it's <laughs> it's sometimes a little tough to answer everything, but I try. Anyways, I need a couple more to have enough for a turn in, or at least uh, to have enough for um, for uh, for the actual oof, for the actual uh, gems. Turn in, guys. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, they're in together uh, with Diablo, or really any of them, we have enough. Korra's gonna be under attack for a second. Should not be a big deal. Fala is right there, so we should be alright. 
But yeah, you can notice though, the damage that I deal, like, even though I've been in combat pretty much the entirety of the game, right? It's just the amount of damage that's that's being done, it's just not that high. Okay. Sadly, we are too low, but, or too slow. Alright. Gotta wait for the dwarf toss. He's not tossing yet. He seems to be very greedy with the dwarf toss. Nice little pickup right there. Okay. Get him, get him, get him! Nice! That's huge, actually. That's like their main damage dealer gone out of that fight. But we need to go back. We need to go back. Oh god, wrong button. I was pressing the V button instead of the B button. We need to kill this guy. Okay, we will be able to stop him right here. Just spamming every ability that I got, really. Would have used my ult right here as well. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping we got it. Guys! Guys, help, please! Abathur, please! Abathur, please! Abathur, plus! <laughs> Abathur's not even here! Oh, there he- no, where is he? He's not here! Oh, can we have it? No, sadly we do, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, we do end up falling right there, uh, but hopefully this video told you at least a little bit about playing um, About playing Johanna very powerful hero if played correctly And I would not be surprised if she's gonna be picked as like a counter towards other heroes because well She can just tank the damage and she can just really you know handle um, Other other enemies so in the end we did 23 takedowns and two deaths uh, 99 siege damage and 30,000 hero damage like I said, I wish there was a metric right here to see how much damage we shielded, so we can sort of like compare that to the other heroes that are happening in the game right now. Uh, but I don't know that. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I will see you in the next one.